Hello, welcome to the bridge of the here's to us and what you ought to do. Today is trip 144 and kind of sad because we'll be putting the boat away. We're going to take it up there and have the weekend to kind of prep the boat, unload some things and uh, get ready to give it to Horizon Marina. They're going to take it out of the water, put it into uh, inside heated winter storage and she'll get some uh, TLC, mostly some cosmetic uh, things that we want to get done and uh, maybe a couple little me minor mechanical things like the Garmin camera and the struts for the engine room which I haven't been able to get done. So we'll have them uh, take a look at it <clears throat> and we've been in touch with them on you know ensuring hey what do we have to do long term you know to get the boat ready so there's a number of items we'll do but one of the things I talked to you about before was having the fuel kind of balanced and down to uh, manageable so we're really we're about where we want to be we're going to run off the aft tanks uh, going up there we have three eighths of a tank uh, in in all the tanks which is about where I wanted it not only for weight but uh, there and then we'll, we'll put some fuel treatment in it we've already put some fuel treatment in there but we're going to put some biocide in there uh, the place uh, that we're putting it into they say they maintain it between 45 and 50 degrees so you know she should be just fine in there a uh, couple of things about the route up there is <clears throat> I talked to you before about Navionics doing a pretty good job 99 percent of the time and it did a good job today however it didn't do a great job and so what I'd like to do is Rev have you focus in on the Navionics this is on the iPad and here's where we are, <clears throat> and we're going to be going up to Alexandria Bay. It's only a distance of about 10 miles up here. But one of the things that it did as I was reviewing the route and saying, do I want to do this, is it took me, this is Round Island and Little uh, Round Island, and we can see them in the distance. They're only a mile up here. But I go, gosh, why go through this when we have this here? So... What I did was, and maybe it's because of this area here, but I called and got some local knowledge of what's going on <clears throat> and uh, talked to our harbor host, Lynn, and he says, yeah, you can do that, he said, but it's much safer to go the other way. So, <clears throat> how do you force Navionics to go the other way? Well, you can do a very complicated procedure of moving all these points, but <clears throat> I find, hey, there's a there's a way to do that is do your auto routing and of course I did this on Navionics and then I imported it into Active Captain uh, on my phone and then synced it over here but essentially what I came up to with is go from here to a point here so it did the auto routing to there okay and then I took another route and I took it from here up to Alexandria Bay Horizon Marina so I'll have two routes to work with you know I call them 144A and 144B and once we're on this way here uh, and we're on a straightaway to it I'll stop navigation on that particular route and start another route and uh, uh, the boat will will steer just fine <clears throat> so you can see there is good water in here and when I talk to Lynn this is all good water, white water, and he says, yeah, make sure you get head to this beacon here, or this uh, day, uh, green 247, and from there we'll pick up the route, <clears throat> and so the green will be on the starboard side as we go up um, to Alexandria Bay. Um, and so one of the other memory aids here we have on board that here's to us is this, where we'll, we, this is a slider, and there's a, uh, one of our subscribers sent this to me. Of course, you have to remember to do that. So whatever you use, you can use it. One of our harbor hosts back in uh, Southport, uh, Robert, he has a little popsicle stick, which I had up here. And so I thought, well, I'll try this out. And so the problem is you have to remember to do that. So what do you do? Do you tie a string on your finger so that you remember to change the uh, popsicle stick or that? But in any case, I think it's it's good to be aware of that. And we're going to kind of pan around there, Rev, and you'll see a freighter is uh, heading up the uh, St. Lawrence River. 
So we'll probably have that to contend with today. Of course, he'll be long gone by the time we start engines and uh, get out of uh, the uh, um, marina here at uh, Clayton. And uh, in the background there, you also see the Harbor Hotel. Nice hotel. Of course, it's near the end of the season. And uh, Clayton's a very nice town. And I uh, can't wait to get back here in the springtime when... Uh, it's a little warmer and it's a little bit hustle bustle. That's about it today. It's really only 10 miles. There should be some great scenery there. We'll be going under the Thousand Island Bridge. And uh, so we'll give you a look at that. And uh, welcome to the Thousand Islands as we proceed up to Alexandria Bay to put the Here's to Us into winter inside heated storage.